All right, flowers, Violet here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Get Weavy. We are so on a roll with this right now. I am going to be showing you how to make the butterfly stitch next, which is again, pretty simple. Please, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any troubles or what you wanna see next for the, for the next episode and all that. So yeah, thanks, let's get into it, let's go. Okay, so to begin this lanyard, we're going to start by grabbing two pieces of string that are the same length. And obviously the longer you make it, the more curls you're going to get out of it. This, I'm just making about a foot long. But the first step of the starting process is to tie a knot. And then once you've done that, this is where kind of the most complicated part of this stitch comes in. You're going to make a loop with the, the purple or whichever string you have on the left. And then you're going to take your, ne your next string and you're going to bring this around that loop. And this is going to help you anchor the lanyard and begin your, your, your loops from here on out. So I'm going to use my middle finger to just hold down that white string. And now I'm going to make a loop. And we're going to put it through the first loop. And you may have to to command these strings a little bit to go where you want them, but you're just gonna straighten them out and pull them tightly. Now be careful not to pull the white string all the way through because then you will undo your work and you'll have to start all over. But I like to leave a little bit of a loop that I can at least fit another loop through. So I'm going to grab this purple and I'm gonna make a loop. And we're going to go through the white loop. And I'll pinch that with my other hand just for a second as I even out these strings. And now I'll pull the white. And kind of give that a nice tug and tighten it all up. Now really quickly, I'm going to show you a hack. And this will make your butterfly stitches fly by if you're trying to crank these out pretty quickly. You can just use your finger to make a loop on the other side. So you grab the string, kind of push it through, put your finger through it, and then pull everything tight. And your finger is holding that loop for you. Or you can do it the way that I just showed you, where you make a loop and you push it through the loop. Both methods will work. It's really up to you which one you like more. And then it's just a process of alternating your colors and alternating which loop is going through which loop and tightening. And as you go, you'll notice that you start to get this kind of curve happening because you're pulling these loops into each other. And after a while, you'll get this kind of like springy design, which is kind of fun. And to finish this, you pretty much just take one of your strings and instead of making a loop with it, you just put it straight on through. And then I'll pull the purple string tight. And then we can tie another knot or we can attach it to a finding, but that's essentially how I typically finish my butterfly stitches. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Let's Get Weavy. Stay tuned because coming up is going to be how we start the box stitch. Thanks so much for watching. Keep blooming and I will see you in the next one. Bye.